Hello, good evening. This is uh, Ruth Pozuelo from Curvel.com and uh, today I'm actually going to show you something that I have shown you before, but this is a better way to do it. And it has to do with the April release of uh, query parameters. And uh, what I'm going to demonstrate today that you can do with these query parameters is to avoid hard-coded URL sources. Uh, I did a video before on that where we actually did use parameters but it was like a, a manual way of doing it uh, with this introduction of query parameters in power bi we can do this much much easier and i'm going to demonstrate just how what it looks like so if we go to power bi file if you have open and save a Power BI file in another computer and then you try to refresh, you will see that if you have uh, connections to an Excel file or a text file or anything that has a static URL like here, it's in my C drive in another computer. Then of course when you press refresh, uh, Power BI won't be able to find the file and the entire query will break. So what I'm going to show you how to do is to implement parameters. And once you have implemented it, what will work is you will go here to edit queries and then you will choose edit parameters. And here is my two parameters, one for one computer, one for the other computer. So if I change to this computer and press OK, it will try to refresh automatically. So now it has refreshed, so everything has been working properly. So as soon as you go back to your other computer, you will go here to edit parameters and just change back to the other one, and then everything will work. So it's a very easy way to do it. Um, so now I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, so I'm going to show you now how to create those parameters and how to implement it on the URL. It's actually very, very simple. You go to edit queries. And then this year is the one that has a reference to an Excel file somewhere on my computer. And this is the path that we need to change. So I just copy that. And then here you have, uh, if you have installed the April update, you have to do that. Uh, this uh, will show up, manage parameters, click on that create new and then here we can write file path for example so uh, this is text and it will be a list of values so we will have one path for one computer and then another path from the other computer so this will be so computer one computer two Make sure you don't have any blanks or anything like that, that the paths are correct. Uh, home computer. Okay. So now we have our parameters. Now we need to go back to refer or spam where we have uh, an input to an Excel file. And we need to change the source here. So this is the path, the part of the path that actually changes. So there we will write concatenate and then we write file path. So we are referencing the parameters that we just created and then concatenate in the URL. So, make sure that it's okay, and then close. So if we refresh now, this should work. So now it has loaded, and you see there is no error message, which means that we've done things correctly. 
So when you open this file in a new computer, you go to edit queries, edit parameters, and then you choose the other path. And that's it. Okay, I hope you enjoy uh, today's trick. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with query parameters. This is just one of them. Uh, I will do a series of videos uh, a little bit later on, but this was so useful trick, so I thought I would give it away right away. Have a nice evening. Uh, if you have any questions as usual, comment on the box below. And um, if you like this video, subscribe. Bye-bye.